What makes a perfect getaway even better? Choosing the right accommodation. I'm Pemsi from Me Getaway. Join me as I take you on a tour to some of Bhutan's most beautiful hotels and homestays. We'll try the food, property tour, and also meet the people behind these wonderful places. So, are you ready? Kusasangpo, welcome to the first episode of Hotels or Homestays. For our first visit, we're headed to Punaka. So what we're doing here today is we've been invited by one of the homestays here. Can't really see which house it is. But it's going to be really cool. We'll take you on a whole new tour on what kind of homestays and accommodations are available in Bhutan. And we're starting off with Punakha, so stay tuned. So yeah, we have to cross this bridge and then go all the way over there. Located in Guptathang Punakha, Gatsothang, also known as Happiness Fields, is a charming little homestay in this warm valley with a huge farmland, vegetable and flower gardens. And it is owned by a sweet lady named Amkarma. The Godamba and Gum di Ropa Am Dam Chus the Temple Homestay to Michula. Bike Tam is so at Rering Oil and Yema. Clemale Om Ching is at the Lunami Sami, Sem Gabe, Chim Ditao Dais, Nam Sami Gai, and Charana, Nam Sami Goka Bonimes and Digi Tangana Vicutila. Katsutang is not like the usual homestays in Bhutan. The stone-clad walls and black window frames give a contemporary rustic charm. I loved it, especially the home-cooked food. The homestay is so comfortable. And the view in front of the homestay is definitely one of the reasons we should stay here. Just look at this. It's 6.30 in the morning and this is the view that greets you in front of the homestay. Look at this mist that settled right on top of the river. Isn't that beautiful? When was the last time you had fresh milk and butter? Well, you can join Amkarma as she makes fresh butter and cheese from the morning milk. The farm stay has a 21-acre property which grows a range of fruits and vegetables. You love taking a walk and picking the fruits from the orchards. I went chili picking with Amkarma's granddaughter who also helps her at the homestay. This is Dina, such a pretty name for such a pretty girl and she is Amkarma's granddaughter. So what do you think are some of the elements um, that makes homestays completely different from hotels um, and what people can look forward to? Um, I think it's uh, what makes homestays different from hotels is the more personal um, personal experience because yeah. over here you get to meet the host, the owner, um, you get to have a more personalized experience. You yeah. can ask for like different kinds of food, see how the food is made yeah. and then you get to you know, converse, uh, converse with the host and mm -hmm. see how the homestays came about. Whereas in hotels it's more, you know, um, you just feel more of a guest. Besides being a wonderful host, Amkarma is actually one of Bhutan's leading textile dye experts and she still continues her passion for textiles at the homestay. You can participate in a textile dyeing activity where she creates beautiful colors made from natural pigments and organic colors. Then our homestay birching at her jinda ngoma da che then she chi ha toy chi ha za po da konam sam sam gomela na nam sam sam gaela tele gum de swe mato mato che pel da nam sam ka tok to do la na I had a wonderful time at Gatsutam Homestay. It felt like coming home. If you want to experience this homestay, contact the following address. Happy travels and Karinche.